Welcome back to another episode of Our Cottage Renovation, coming to you from the completed front porch. I'm actually sitting on a bench on the front porch. We're going to see uh, a little bit of that work coming up in this uh, in this episode. But apologies again for it's been a while. I don't even know when the last episode was, but it's been a while. Um, work has been slow. Uh, life is in the way. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, but we're towards the end of the season. It's the middle of September and uh, things are winding down. The, um, the camp officially closed at the end of October. We can continue to work. Uh, there just won't be water, not that we have any water here yet, but uh, to turn the water off and, and whatnot and chain the roads so we won't be able to drive up here. But So uh, the big update is the porch. The porch was completely torn up and replaced. It's been a couple of weeks now uh, since we did that, but everything is down and level. We finished up today. You're going to see a bit of that. And uh, we also uncovered, this is kind of a great find. Uh, you never know what you're going to find when you start tearing up floors, right? But we uncovered uh, what we think are, are the original brackets that went in the corners here on the porch. So we're going to talk about those uh, also in this episode. So you're going to see the the old brackets and we're going to talk about I think how we're going to redesign them so they so they fit so coming up in this episode it's all about the porch it's all about getting this porch done and uh, making sure uh, that we got it done and we did get it done so the only thing that's left is we got to get a coat of paint on it because it's raw wood right now and uh, it's not pressure treated but it's raw wood and uh, it really needs to get a coat of paint on it so it protects it for the for the winter all right so thanks for uh, uh, being with us this time so again it's all about the porch so let's look at what we did so we're back to where it all began we're standing in front of the house because today is porch day if you see there the porch is gonna get see if I can get a better shot there the porch is gonna get redone hopefully we're gonna complete it today that's the task. Um, it's, I think, going to be more than one day, but we're going to start today and uh, hopefully, oh, there's a good shot right there. Hopefully, we will get uh, at least the framing and the roof back up. We're not taking the roof down. We're going to prop it up. So stay tuned. That's what's on the docket for today. Thank you. 
All right, so here's the uh, possible halfway point update. The porch is completely removed. And as you can see, there's a tiny bit of rot here in the corner. Um, not sure yet what's gonna happen there, uh, but just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of rot there. And uh, you can see a previous repair was done there with the concrete. And, uh, but this beam runs right out uh, to the back side of the house from the front. And there's another one. This is the end of the other one that runs all the way out to the end. So the house is pretty well supported. There's a little cedar log right there, uh, support in the middle. We back up. I don't get run over. So we are well supported in the front <laughs> for now. Uh, just holding that roof up and uh, all right, so that's the update from here. <laughs> Does it look level? Nice. Well, all right, well, as you can see, it is all framed in. Uh, all that's left is the, uh, the floor, the deck, and the, uh, and the railings. The railings are going to come much later, but the uh, frame is in. It was not an easy task. Nothing on this place has been easy. And, uh, but it is level. So there's that. We have that going for us. We had to do a little surgery around the tree over here, as you can see, uh, to give some room for this tree to grow some more. It was um, lifted on the end that you're looking at, the end right here. It was three inches higher than where it should have been. And so that threw the whole, uh, the whole porch off, but all pressure treated, all in, all ready to go. Next is the floorboards. That's the, uh, that's what's next. And you'll see we're gonna use uh, Tongue and Groove Douglas fir, because that's what would have been on there in the, in the uh, 1870s is what they would have used. But it's, uh, it's all framed in, so the floorboards obviously will go from the house out this way, just like they did the last time. And what's great is it's four feet from here to here. The boards are eights, cut them in half, we're ready to go. So that's going to be the next step is to get the boards down. Okay, we've come to the end of an extremely long day, but I'm sitting on the porch. It's almost completed. We were about uh, four boards short, I think, uh, on the end. So uh, that's another day, which we'll see next. Uh, but the boards are down, they're not really secured. They're, they're every couple of boards are secured, but uh, that job will get done. Um, today's what, Saturday uh, of Labor Day weekend. So that will get done on Monday. We're coming back Monday to uh, get the rest of the of the porch down so we'll see we'll have a little bit more action then but uh this was quite the job it's always <laughs> the funny thing we were talking about this um it's always more work than you think it's gonna when it takes twice as long as you thought it was gonna uh, which certainly was the case here we thought uh we would have we thought we would have this done long before right now but it took uh, we started at uh we got here at 10 because we had to go to the lumber yard. So we got here at 10, and it's, uh, I think, almost 7 now, p.m. So, and we just wrapped up, because we had to clean up. We had to do the clean up and everything afterwards, so. But, uh, so that's the dealio from here for now. Um, you can see, let me see if I can get you up here. That's the floorboards are down. You can see where we're a few shy on that end. Uh, but there it is, and then, um, the roof, which was out of level, uh, that leveled off uh, as well in all of this. So uh, we did well. And we found some brackets. We're going to talk about brackets too uh, in another segment. So hang on. Hang on for that. All right. So next up is the securing of the uh, floorboards. That's next.
right, so uh, the porch is um, finished. Well, the bottom of the porch is done. You see the lattice is on. We went with the, if you follow me on Facebook, you know I had a poll up about uh, the space between the slats. It was, this side it was wider when I put them on than the front side and uh, we went with the narrower um, piece. The plan is that treatment that's there is gonna run all the way down uh, the side of the house to fill in uh, so it will look the same uh, all the way down. But it's done in the front. It looks good. It was a bit of a challenge because it disappears up into that tree. Um, and the trim board's on. It's primed on the back side. It'll get primed on the front side. We still have to prime the deck. A little bit about the deck because we ran it. I ran into a bit of a problem. So I was going to use square nails, which I started. But as you can see, the nails weren't galvanized. And they rusted and they, and they stained. It's going to get painted. So those nails will disappear, but the rest of it is done with galvanized nails. Uh, so we should be good to go uh, on that. All right, so let's recap on the front. You can see where we stand to see what's left on this project, which probably at this point is not gonna get finished until uh, the spring. So there's gonna be a railing that will go across. There'll be balusters. Uh, like there, well, there wasn't any balusters there before, but there'll be balusters and uh, not sure of the shape of those yet, um, but those will be, but those will be on there. Uh, it needs to get mulched and there will be some plants that grow up in front. We cut them all down when we started working, uh, but they'll grow back in the spring. And then in the corners, we have brackets uh, that will go in those corners. And, uh, but what I can't get over is how straight that roof is. <laughs> that roof, if you remember from previous versions, that roof went like that, and uh, as did the deck. So um, I'm not sure it's as noticeable now, but it was earlier. Let me show you the line. Yeah, you can see it a bit over there. So that paint line that's right there, where you see the, the paint rise up above that trim, that was the height of the deck. It was almost two and a half inches up, and it's because of that tree right there. You can see how it just kind of grows uh, into the deck. So we made some space for the tree to keep growing without really affecting anything, so hopefully that's gonna work. We will see, we will see. So we have a few more things to do. I gotta replace that pane of glass that's right there and one around the other side. And then I also have to reglaze uh, all the windows, but that's that may be a winter project. All right, that's the status on the porch. Well, thanks for joining us this week on uh, or <laughs> this week, like it's a weekly series again, right? This episode. Thanks for joining us on uh, this episode of our cottage renovation. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you're enjoying the work that we love the comments that you're leaving. So thanks uh, for the comments. And, and people keep asking about colors. We're going to get there. We are going to, I'm telling you, we're going to get to colors and we're going to get to kitchen design. Uh, we have those two things are hanging out there. So, uh, so if you get a minute, hit the subscribe button, ding the little bell so you get a reminder of when we uh, post some things. But uh, for now, I'm just going to say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time whenever that's going to be. Thank mm -hmm. you.